how can you find the top five altcoins to buy in this crypto rally? Which coin would be the first, which coin would be the second, and why would they be a good investment? Especially, we need to also know how does the charts look like for those coins. So, before we jump into that, keep this in mind, there is a lot of micro volatility in the market. Bitcoin is coming back, reaching out to this trend line, and for the last two months, it has been that way. Don't get confused and emotional here because you can definitely see that the breakout was certain and now you are testing the all time highs. If you look at this clearly, zoom out last five years, you get to also see one thing which is very important. I think no one should miss that. What is it? The price remains above the all-time highs of 2021 even if you scale it up to see conservative approach you're still above that level which is perfect right now you're testing the all-time highs of 2021 making that as a resistance and forming one pattern which we have seen over and over again how did all of those end we know that yeah we have seen these patterns playing out just before they break out. They do this and then fly to the upside. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. If you're watching the market right now, don't get confused. It is choppy though, but the market gives you a clear direction. How can we understand that? How can we find top five performing coins? And how can we check them? Should we be on a short term or a long term? Now let's first directly jump on these five. First, when you look at the market and you're asking the question, which one should be that best Question comes in and asks, ah, Cardano, why? Yeah, the project is strong. You have a ton of fundamentals. There is a lot of adoption, especially if you're an investor. What are you looking at? You want to buy something at its local bottom. This asset has done its micro one, two, three for the macro wave one. So you can clearly see why that is technically very sound to look for an asset which has completed this before it takes off the wave two that's coming in now on the technical side on a weekly you're bringing in all the indicators the macd is crossing to the upside the rsi is above it's moving average now you look at the trend line you're very close to a breakout perfect now if you want to go on a monthly that's okay that's completely fine and what do you see liquidity zone so on the technical side of it you clearly see how the supply is entering last time we saw that here the price went all the way up to 0.8 that was like a forex move so cardano clearly shows you that in the technical side and as we just spoke the fundamentals and the adoption is clear it's direct competitor for ether and it is getting adoption so the strong project getting attraction from the market at its bottom is the primary thing now we look at the volume you're on a monthly here there was substantial selling volume but the price did not drop so who sold and who is buying all of those that's what you should try to answer so on a monthly it is showing i'm about to reverse on a weekly it's trying to say i'm trying to bounce off so you kind of get to see what's happening fine now any local lows here is your buy if it's me looking at this asset to buy i will look for something like this and i directly enter there that is going to be what the market would like to do that choppy move and a reversal 
Now, what would be the second asset if you put that into the list? Solana. I would argue Solana is showing those things. One, it's hyped up in the market in terms of fundamentals. It does have fundamentals. I'm not saying it is weak. It is a strong project. But now if you look at the hype and speculation on it, that shows you the fact that as soon as it breaks higher, it is going to be a huge buy. So you have the one here, you have the two here, you're going for the three. It may not be as big as your wave two, but it is still going to be one of those assets which says the MACD is crossing to the upside on the positive side, which is great. It's a positive side cross on the MACD on a weekly. Now we bring it up on a monthly which gives you more understanding about the certainty of one range. This candle, that particular range has not been broken yet. So what I would like to personally see is Solana coming back down close to 120, 130 range, which would look like this, and then a bounce off to the upside. So that will become your rectangular pattern and a break to the upside. It can fly from there. So that is Solana. Now, which one would be the third? There's a lot of adoption on this one, on the layer one, on the layer two, and you have a ton of coins in the layer two where it can pop, right? So now, let's take Palkadot itself, because you have already seen, just like XRP, Palkadot has been named by like the Bank of International Settlements, the World economic forum you, you have seen that everywhere right they also have been named and they have a ton of layer twos which are getting adoption fine now look at that on the price action side at one point in time it was like 50 dollars now it's at 3.8 dollars i mean that's where you say buy low sell high now why would i say that maybe i'm wrong but why would i say that you were forming clearly lower highs and all of a sudden you put in a higher high. Now you're trying to make a higher low. Even if that's a double bottom, it is clearly showing you that the RSI has been making a bottom. RSI is clearly giving you that idea. This is going to be the wave one. So the pop here should be for wave two wave two is the biggest pop and you don't want to miss those right with fundamentals with the market sentiment and everything else pointing to one direction think about it next one what would be the fourth asset if you are to look for a fundamental asset with lower risk and the price action you can look at chain link now let's bring up chain link the adoption rate and the fundamental for Chainlink is clear. Almost all of us here watching this channel are fundamentalists. We are more looking at the fundamentals and then the price action. So we already know what the project is about. We already know all the certainties. Now, when we broke this accumulation range, we talked about the pop. Once you got this doji, we talked about a retest. Now we are coming very close. You did get one test day, but on a weekly, now we are here. We're saying, okay, we got this pattern. Are we about to break higher? If we do, it's okay. But if you are looking at a perfect buy, this can give you a perfect buy. But now the question is the upside versus the downside. Are you looking at a huge drop in the price action or are you waiting for a breakout? If you do get a breakout here, that is systematically what you want because the bull flag is the argument. But then the bull flag can also happen like this, right? And retest this key range with the bull flag, stay in the bull flag and then break higher. So such a break would actually make it the wave one completion starting off for the wave two. Now go on to a macro the monthly the chart clearly confirms one thing you had a big reversal you broke above the moving average now we are coming back to retest that we have seen such scenarios remember this would look like this you broke higher came back retested 
that and then bounced off. So the wave 2 is pending even on that fundamental asset. Now where would be the reversal? This is very important. You need to look through for all these assets, for all these assets, put it on a rank go, look at the daily. It is showing I'm still down. I'm not actually popping. You go on a three day. It shows you I'm still correcting. I'm waiting for a reversal. You go on a weekly. It says I'm waiting for a reversal. So if you're trying to perfectionize, I don't even know whether that's a word, but if you're trying to make a perfect entry, this is what you're looking at. Your daily should be green. Your three day should be green on Ranko. If you're trying to follow the momentum, now, yeah, you're on Heikanashi. Fine. So this is what you use to find a perfect entry. Now we know the asset. You're going for the fifth one. Yeah, it is ether. The question comes in like, whew, was an XRP there? Yeah, XRP is there. But we know the trouble with it. Because it's a direct competitor to everything else in the ecosystem, in payment side, you have huge resistance. High growth potential and low risk with strong fundamentals is what we just checked. So let's look at Ether as well. I don't really like that asset, but for some reason, the market does. Yeah. So you go look at the Rango chart for Ether and you go on a weekly. Like, okay, the price is pushing to the downside. I may get it around 2200, but then you come on to the range to see where we went. We came to that range. That is what it seems like. Now, the micro move is what you're looking at. Short to micro move. Are we going to make a cup and handle pattern or are we going to make a inverse head and shoulder here? In both ways, it is showing you the argument. I want to break higher. That's a three day chart where the RSI confirms I broke higher. Now we go on a weekly. The weekly RSI gives you the certainty that yes, it did break to the upside. Usually what happens, RSI, MACD and everything else says, okay, bye. And then the whale say, no, I'm going to kick you out. We've seen those multiple times. And then the price goes up, right? So there is a possibility of this and a takeoff. That is going to be what we would see here. Now come back in to XRP. This is the support. Clear. There is no doubt on it. Why did I not add it on the top five? You are at a support. Agreed. There is no doubt. But with a SEC going after this without settling the case, trying to kick the retail out, there is something we need to also look at. That is the monthly. On a monthly chart, for XRP. Now it's below the moving average. It is still testing the 0.46 mark. You didn't actually break to the upside. Your indicators are showing the downside. So until that flips, don't try to buy that move. If you are a long term investor and you have next 5, 10, 15 years, fine. That's a perfect entry for you. Unless that's the case, you need to look for what Bitcoin is doing. The monthly. As we talked about in October, that happened. Now it's November, showing you the monthly close is at the all-time highs. The previous close, you can see. Now, a retest and a break is the perfect scenario. You came up to test this. Now, move up. What would that look like on a monthly chart? Yeah, that sounds about right. You can actually see the price popping through the midsection. It may not be perfect, but you will still see the price going higher. So if you are in the market and you're looking through this and asking the questions like, whoa, 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 the altcoin market is pushing down. Yeah, this is what's happening. The macro round at bottom. It is clear as you zoom out. When you are in doubt, just zoom out. And this shows you it is the perfect time to look and get positioned into all coins and that's where the si family comes in if you want to do that if you want to do the copy trades if you want to do the one-on-one -on -one sessions use the link in the description below and jump on into the market before it starts popping so guys if you receive value 
smash that like button for me. I'll meet you guys in the next video. Bye for now.